All right, today I wanted to use BARD for keyword research. So this is going to be an experiment. Um, I wanna see how well BARD actually produces re results. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be asking for keyword research and I'm gonna be asking for keyword search volume. So I'm in here in the Google Keyword Planner. So I'm gonna be asking BARD for search volume for, for different keywords related to Google Trends. And I'm gonna do it for another topic as well and see how well they come up with some of the information. I wanna see if they pull information directly from the Keyword Planner or if they just kind of spit out fake information. I use to do this with um, chat GPT their keyword search volume was not always the most relevant uh, but I want to see if we can actually get some information from Bard if they're able to actually access some of this keyword planner data which they should I mean it's a, a tool that's also owned by Google and I'm not going to tell it to use the keyword planner but what I'm going to do is we're going to enter our prompt here so let's get started with doing a little bit of keyword research and the keyword I'm going to be focused on first is going to be Google Trends so we have all of these different keywords up here related to Google Trends. And what I did is I added a filter. So there is a filter here where the keyword text contains Google Trends. So I'm also gonna do that in my prompt for Bard. So the prompt I use, I will also put in the video description in case you wanna use the prompt as well. So let's enter the prompt now. Okay, so this should be kind of a difficult task here. And I just created a video about how Bard got its biggest upgrade yet with Gemini Pro. So Bard has been updated in English with Gemini Pro. So Gemini Pro says it is mo capable of things like understanding, summarizing, reasoning, coding, and planning. And when you look at the actual update here for Google on their blog, they actually compared Gemini Ultra, which is not what we're using, to GPT-4, but Gemini Pro should be pretty similar. Not quite as good as Gemini Ultra, and it looks like Gemini Ultra is supposed to be coming out early next year. So they've, they've actually really improved this overall tool because I know in the beginning with Bard, people were uh, kind of mocking it when it was first released. But what we have here is the general reasoning map math and code, and it beat GPT-4 in all four of these categories, according to this data from Google. So if you want more information about Gemini Pro, they released a video yesterday about what Gemini is. This is, I believe, Gemini Ultra. So this is not anything that we can do yet with Gemini Pro, as far as I know. But if we come back over here, I just want to give it a, a pretty difficult task, and we're going to see if they're going to be able to complete this task. You're an expert at keyword research, keyword search volume statistics, and keyword difficulty. In addition, you're an expert at no let's make sure we spell our words right, at knowing the average cost per click for keywords in Google Ads. I'm putting together an SEO strategy and I want to create content related to Google Trends. I want you to produce a list of the top 30 long tail keywords for the short tail keyword Google Trends. For each keyword, give me the average search volume, a keyword difficulty score in terms of ranking in Google, and the average cost per click bid. I want you to rank the keywords by average search volume. The keyword text must contain Google Trends. So we're gonna be able to check all of this information based on the data we have in Google Keyword Planner because we have these different keywords here. Now I don't know if they're gonna give me keywords like this. Some of these are kind of a little bit ridiculous, um, but Google Trends, Google Search Trends, uh, Google Trends 2023, Trending Searches Google Trends. Um, so some of these different keywords here, Google Trends YouTube, Google Trends on YouTube, Trends of Google, Google Keyword Trends, Google Shopping Trends. So we'll be able to kind of see some of this information. They also have the overall bid data here, the competition, the index value, but this actually shows how competitive ad placement is for a keyword. But if you use a lot of different keyword research tools, you know that they actually give you keyword difficulty scores in terms of ranking. So let's come over here to Bard and let's see what they give us with this prompt. Okay, so top 30 long tail keywords for Google Trends, uh, the average search volume, they're giving us a range of data, how to use Google Trends, Google Trends for business, for marketing versus SEM rush, for keyword research, Google Trends API, alternative, best Google Trends keywords. So we're looking at the keyword difficulty, medium, medium, low, and the average cost per click for some of these different keywords as well. So I don't know if the keyword difficulty is actually pulling directly from so there's not that much information here. It also did not give us 30, it gave us 25. So it didn't give us the top 30 long tail keywords, even though it says it would, um, unless it's, no, it looks like it's done. looks like it's done with the, uh, with the output here. So we're getting some different information, Google Trends tutorial, best Google Trends keywords. Now, what I wanna do next is I wanna take this from long tail keyword research to topic focus. So let's tell Google to use these top long tail keywords and come up with 20 different topics that we can create content for. Uh, so let's do a separate prompt now.
Okay, so now my next prompt is going to be, can you use the top long tail keywords for Google Trends to give me 20 different topic ideas? So going from just keyword research, the main thing that we want are topics. What can we actually write about? What can we actually create content for that's going to increase our traffic? 20 different topic ideas for my blog. For each topic idea, write two sentences about how I can cover that topic. In addition, at the very end of all the topic information, please give me a strategy for how I should write the blog posts and what I should include in them so I can rank my website as high as possible in the search results. Lastly, write three sentences about how I can rank on the first page of Google for the keyword Google Trends by giving me an SEO strategy that includes internal linking and building backlinks to improve my organic search traffic for the keyword Google Trends. So we're giving way more, t way more tasks to Bard here. Uh, so we're going to do an enter here and wait for our output. Now, real quickly, I started covering Google Trends really towards the end of last year. And you can see here, I started writing more. Before that, I barely got any clicks or impressions for the keyword Google Trends. So we're looking at search terms that contain Google Trends. So for a while, I was ranking pretty high here and getting a decent amount of clicks per day for search terms that contain Google Trends. And if we look at the average position, you can see over time, it's been pretty steady overall. I mean, some ups and downs, um, even with all the Google updates, you can see I've had some, uh, I think this was one of the core updates. Uh, this was another core update. And now we've been doing pretty well with my search traffic. Not great. This is just for Google Trends. But what you're going to see is if you don't start covering some of these keywords and some of these topics, we're just not going to rank for them. So I need to improve my average click through rate as well. The problem with the average click through rate is a lot of people um, you could actually see my average click through rate was higher and then it started to go down. What happens is you start ranking for the keyword Google Trends and people are just looking for the tool. They're not looking for any information. So I really want to rank higher for this keyword in 2024 and try to drive more traffic back to my blog. So let's see what Bard has to say about it. 20 blog topic ideas. Let's first see if they gave us 20. Okay, so we got 20 blog post strategy for ranking high, target high volume keywords with low competition. Create high quality content that's informative, engaging, optimized for search engines. And then we ran out of room in this prompt. So, you know, I would like to have a longer prompt here, but what we do have are now 20 blog topic ideas. So let's see how to use Google Trends for keyword research, Google Trends for business, master Google Trends for marketing, Google Trends versus HRS versus SEM rush, choosing the right tool. I don't really think these are necessarily the same exact tools. So not a topic I would really cover. Google Trends, your secret weapon for content marketing success. So if we're looking at this, basically what they're doing is Google Trends for content marketing. Google Trends API. So these are the long tail keywords and they turn them into some of these different uh, some of these different topic ideas. So top 10 Google Trends alternatives. I don't know if there are even 10 alternatives. Unmasking the mystery, how Google Trends works. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever do that. Ultimate guide to Google Trends for SEO. So that's not a bad one. Google Trends for YouTube. Google Trends for e-commerce. That's an interesting one. Google Trends, your guide to app store optimization. So I should look at that one as well. Demystifying Google Trends for social media marketing. Google Trends for competitive analysis, for seasonal trends, for blog post ideas, for local SEO for public relations and reputation management. Don't know if I'll do that one. Google Trends for education and research. Don't know if I'll use that one either. And the future of Google Trends. I don't know what the future of Google Trends is. So overall, some really good topics. I probably have about 10 to 15 different blog articles I can now write on my website. So if you are looking to do some keyword research with Bard, it does look like it's actually pretty good at doing keyword research here. So let's just see. I want to do the, the same thing here with a different category. And I want you to do something that's actually focused on a product. So the product I'm gonna be using today is for dog food. So let's just say I'm working with a dog food client. They want some different keywords related to dog food. Uh, so you're an expert at keyword research. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. You're expert at knowing the cost per click, putting together an SEO strategy, we're gonna create content related to dog food. So let's update our prompt here. Okay, so I'm gonna switch this a little bit. So I wanna see how, how what it comes with. Uh, putting together an SEO strategy, we're gonna create content related to dog food. I I want you to produce a list of the top 30, and I'm gonna change this a little bit, top 30 keywords related to dog food in terms of search volume. Okay, so for each keyword, give me average search volume. So basically now we're asking for the top 30 keywords. Uh, so let's come over here and click on enter. Now, one of the things that's interesting is if we come up here to the top for all these different Google Trends keywords and we compare the data that we saw in the keyword planner, it is slightly different. The search volume looks much higher from what Google gave us. So I don't know if they're actually putting together some of these keywords into one because the average monthly searches is definitely way less here than what we're seeing in Bard. So I still think these tools really struggle with search volume data. So 
So if you're doing keyword research, really ultimately what you're trying to do is find topic ideas. So top 30 long tail keywords for Google Trends. This isn't exactly perfect. I don't think that Google Trends for Business gets this much average monthly search volume. How to use Google Trends, I also don't think gets this much average monthly search volume. And I don't think the average cost per click would be that high either. So if we look at the average cost per click here, none of these are even close to five, ten dollars. Um, the top of page bid is that high, but generally if you're looking at the range of data, you're looking more towards the lower end here. So I, I would say that the the data that BARD is giving us related to search volume and keyword difficulty and average cost per click is probably not completely accurate. Top 30 long tail keywords, these are probably some of the more popular keywords. Um, but if we come down here, 20 blog post ideas. So I like doing that as well. I, I like coming up with dog post ideas. So let's see, top 30 dog food keywords by average search volume. We got up to 28 this time. Okay, so dry, dog food, dry dog food, best dog food, wet dog food, puppy food, grain free, natural, hypoallergenic, senior, large breed. So really good at producing long tail keyword results. So if you're looking for long tail keywords related to a short tail keyword, I do this a lot for Google ads when I'm looking for Google ads ideas in terms of some of the different content I should create. Uh, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll come in here to a prompt and just say using the most popular keywords based on search volume can you suggest 30 google ads keywords i can target with my blog posts okay so sometimes i'll do a prompt like that and generally these ones are pretty good because it's going to be uh, 30 <laughs> google ads keywords for dog food blog posts so kind of confused the uh, bard here a little bit so you want to make sure that sometimes when you come into a new chat because what bard does is it's going to look through the previous chats here so if you're doing keyword research you probably want to start a new chat a lot of times what i'll do is i'll try to build out as much information in a chat as possible sometimes i'll give information and feed it into here um, but overall this is not really uh exactly what i was looking for because i was looking for based on search volume just 30 google ads keywords so i guess I guess maybe it's the way I did the prompt. So they're suggesting Google ads keywords for dog food blog posts. So not necessarily perfect, but basically giving us the best keywords that we can target for Google ads. So maybe we could use this as a Google ads keyword research tool a little bit. Uh, I know there are certain certain challenges with certain brands where I am looking for additional tools to use. So maybe we add Bard into the mix, but wanted to do a little bit of keyword research uh, using Bard. If we were gonna do this, I would probably uh, update update my my prompt here and make sure it is a little bit more descriptive so this is the importance of writing a really descriptive prompt is what it's going to do is it's going to say you know what suggest 30 google ads keywords and it's going to go back to the previous response and say okay we are going to use this keyword to actually uh give you a you know we're going to use the dog food keyword to give you some different google ads keywords here so obviously we would have to do a new chat but generally if i am looking for things like that i will do something like give me the top 30 keywords by search volume related to the keyword Google ads. I am creating Google ads content. Can you give me 30 keywords to target that are unique and have high search volume? So trying to increase my traffic for Google ads to my website as well. Um, so Google ads, Google ads, tutorial, how to use keyword planner costs for small business, PPC for beginners certification overall, some pretty, uh, pretty good keywords here. And then we have unique keywords with high search volume, best Google ads, alternative automation tools, budget calculators, search terms reports. So target a lot of these already with my content, but I definitely some things that I can target. Uh, one of the things I was interested in is actually trying to target educational institutions, universities, colleges, um, so trying to get some clients related to, you know, some of those different types of categories because they tend to spend a lot of money and they tend to have a lot of money coming in. So those are the types of clients that uh, that can be a little bit easier to work with uh, just because they have massive budgets. So these are overall helpful. I have about 60 different ideas here. So if you see some videos coming out that are very related to these, um, then you know where I got the ideas from. But um, additional tips, use a keyword research tool, use a mix of broad phrase and exact match keywords. Um, that's not, not relevant for SEO at all. So overall, BARD is a, a good overall tool, but obviously you, you can't use all of it as you know that it's perfect. Uh, there are going to be some, some issues there. Obviously we saw here, but this one you can kind of blame on my prompt. 
uh, where I, I used the prompt for Google Ads, and it basically gave me Google Ads keywords here, which are pretty much the same keywords that we're seeing up top. But if you have any questions about any of this, um, I like using some of these different tools for keyword research, topic research, content strategy, because it, it, they can really produce quick results. And sometimes when you when you search something like Google Trends and you say, I want the keyword text to contain Google Trends, let's look by average monthly search volume, you get all sorts of different keywords here that aren't necessarily perfect. Now, sometimes I look at keywords by relevance, and this this tends to be a little bit better uh, if we do keyword by relevance Google Trends Google Trends 2023 YouTube keyword trends shopping trends Google ads trends so we can come kind of come up with some more ideas there look at the cost per click uh, for when Google ads is in there so that's why I like to target Google ads keywords with my SEO strategy but if you have any questions about any of this please leave in the comment section thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel